Hi. So this video is about my Tracker Pro 175. I had it for a year now and I'm just kind of gonna do like a little review on what I think of it. Now this is the first boat I ever bought brand new. Uh, this is the nicest boat I ever owned. It's done me well. My shop's a mess, I know, and it's okay uh, because I'm gonna clean it eventually. I'm gonna talk about what I have done to the boat as far as the little tiny tiny upgrades I did to it and what I like about the boat and uh, the very few things that I don't like about the boat. Now, let's get into it. There she is in all her glory. Now, I would have liked it to be black. Um, I'm fine with it red, they just didn't have black as an option. It's, it's good, it has a lot of deck room, a lot of places to stand. Uh, the seats, very comfortable seats, uh, good material. It does about 37 miles an hour with me and a buddy on it. It does the job, It you know, it's not the fastest boat in the world, but it's, uh, it is very light. So that motor does very good on it, 75 horsepower. So let's get to the little upgrades I've done. This came with a Minn Kota Edge, uh, had 45 pounds of thrust on it. I upgraded it to the Fortrex, the For Fortrex, Fortrex, that one. There's no spot lock, uh, that's definitely gonna be the next thing. I got this from a friend, whoops, I got this from a friend. Uh, it works. It's 85, I believe, 80, no, 80, 80 foot pounds of thrust. Has basically the same, same um, foot pedal as the old one, just different dial. Now this is a 24 volt system, so I had to upgrade to another battery. And a big concern of mine was the wiring. Now, I don't know if anybody ever, uh, it's windy and it, these doors rattle, sorry. I don't know if anybody looked um, underneath these boards, uh, the floorboards and everything, at the insulation and everything, but it's just spray foam. So they wired it and they used a, uh, like a corrugated loom, or they, they, they sprayed, holy shit, will you shut up? They pre-wired it and then they sprayed uh, the foam in. So you can't get the wire out unless you chisel away that foam. So I was kind of nervous. I had this trolling motor for almost a year now. Oh, I had this trolling motor for about eight months now and I have been putting off, putting it on. Uh, the reason why I finally put it on is because the one that it came with, that's only not even, barely a year old, uh, took a crap on me when it was raining. So I don't know if there's a crack and like the head unit, I don't, something happened. It just kept popping the breaker. The reason why it took me so long to put it in because I was afraid of the whole wiring. I'm gonna to have to reroute wire. Well, after doing a lot of research and then opening it up and looking underneath, this thing is uh, pre-rigged for the trolling motor with six, six gauge wire. That's exactly what uh, what the Minn Kota website says and uh, that works out good. So yeah, I had to get another battery. Um, I wanted to get uh, the stock battery. I wanted to get another battery of the stock one, the Interstate uh, for the deep cycle, but it's a little out of my budget. I literally was able to buy two super starts from O'Reilly's for the same price as I would for one more Interstate battery. So I just went with that. It's kind of tucked in there. You can't really see this, the second deep cycle batteries behind that one. Uh, obviously the interstate is my starting battery. It was really easy to, you know, there's not a lot of room in there, but it was pretty easy to get in. I had to get another battery tray with a strap on it. It was easy to get in, for me at least. If you have bigger arms and bigger hands, it might be a little harder, but it was tight in there, but it was manageable. The boat came with a two bank charger. So I bought a little battery charger uh, for the cranking battery and I use a two bank charger for the deep cycle batteries. So the other upgrade that I ended up going with was the um, forward facing sonar. I did the Garmin, LiveScope, uh, Panoptics, uh, something or another. I don't know, there's so many names for it. Got that with the black box, which I'll show you how I have it wired up. The transducer is the 
LVS 34 and it has the uh, GLS 10 sonar black box. All that's hooked up to a uh, Garmin Ecomaps UHD 993SV. I like it. It uh, it's pretty uh, user friendly. I'm using uh, I'm used to Lorentz, which I still have the stock one that it came with, right here. Uh, the boat came with it. Um, I'm used to that, but this one's pretty user friendly. I had a friend show me how to do it, and I don't know if you watched the video, not the last video, but the video before out at After Bay. He was running the same setup, um, and. That's what sold me on it. He told me, hey, cast right over there. I cast it over there and I caught my new personal best, which was three hundredths of a pound bigger than my original personal best or my other biggest fish. But it's still a PB in my book and I don't care. So inside this rod locker right here, I have no rods in it. I have the black box wired in and then I have the battery. Now you want to do a separate battery uh, for this is a 13.8 volts, I believe. I just took off my tray and then that front panel right there. And then I just ran everything through there underneath there, up underneath all of that. And then I put a hole in one of these uh, rod tubes and ran the wires out. It's pretty simple. So let's get to how I have it set up for my liking. Yeah. Yeah, fat guy getting in. See the dash? Yeah, it's dirty. I know. I haven't had much time to clean it. Um, I kind of just organized it, but I still got exterior to clean. So in here, I have a uh, bug spray, and then I have the this stuff's amazing. The Lucas uh, Slick Mist. Just pull it out, dry it off, spray this on with a microfiber. Spray it on, and then wipe it down with a microfiber. Really good. Really good stuff. Obviously the live well, the live well is awesome. It's plenty big enough. My coal tags, it, it, it works. In this box, I have my way bag. Um, you put water and fish in there and it could go away your fish. The center, now there, it comes with a cushion. I have the cushion off. I don't want to keep stepping on the cushion, just ruining it. Uh, and here has a fire extinguisher, my sunglasses. I have my registration. And I'll throw junk in there um, if I'm bringing, like, I have, like, a speaker uh, to listen to some music. I'll put that in there. And we do some night tournaments with a club, and uh, I'll put my spotlight in there. Under here, you got, uh, it's supposed to be a ice chest, but it lasts, like, 30 minutes, and the ice is melted. So, that is my trash can. Um, it's pretty deep. My cup holders. Now, for some reason, they have these two cup holders, that cup holder, that cup holder, two up there, and underneath here, they have two more. Why? Why do you need eight cup holders on a damn boat? Okay, I don't, I don't even use them. I mean, look, my drink is sitting right there, not even in a cup holder. Now, I'm not moving, but yeah, I don't, they just basically, uh, I throw all my, um, you know, lures in there when I'm not using them anymore. So in this compartment, I have my life jackets, throwable, my light. Underneath there, I have a rope and I have an oar. The last compartment, the most important compartment in my book is a tackle compartment. It's plenty big for me. Um, it fits my boxes. I have these six cents little money bag deals. That have I have one for creature baits, swim baits, and worms, uh, and then all my shit so I can see what I'm grabbing. It goes back there quite a ways, you can't see. Uh, I mean, it goes back there probably another foot and a half after these bags. Got my you know measuring device and my weighing device and my my cutting device, my wacky rig device, my real lubrication device and a random screwdriver device and string. Oh, and this is the world's best investment right here. I'll tell you what, I probably retrieved $400 in this last uh, summer alone uh, worth of bait. And I just have it to this old reel that took a shit on me. Sometimes I'll wind backwards and just have it hooked up to that. I need like a rod handle, that'd be cool. I really like this boat. 
Um, had it for a year and already had a lot of good times on it. I put probably almost 100 hours on it already. Now I'm gonna get to the stuff that I don't like about it. There, uh, there is just a few things. Um, I enjoy this boat. It's very, very smooth in the water. It's very quiet. I really like it, but there are some things that I'm a little irritated with. I didn't want any carpet on there. Obviously, this has to be carpeted. I have dogs. I'll take my dogs out on a boat. They are hairy, and I don't want to deal with all that. So I got this woven vinyl. The stuff is pretty cool, but it, it gets dirty. It's easy to clean unless you live uh, where I live and you have this red dirt it stains everything so uh that's pretty much on there for the rest of this boat's life unless i replace all that which i'm not going to it's uh it's an eyesore but it is what it is now with this woven vinyl it gets hot like you step and it's like walking on lava i'm telling you what in the summer if you like summer where if you like fishing shit i can't talk fishing in the summer if you go barefoot this hurts the feet it's too warm it's it's uh i don't know how warm but but it's it's warm i had to add another one of these straps this strap broke so i have like a fence tie on it but it, it works as you can see there's no there's no rods in here i'll carry my rods in the truck and then i'll put them in the boat when i go fishing i don't need to leave them in here i guess one thing i don't like about this rod locker to add to the things i, I dislike personal dislike is that the rods, uh, they don't go straight in. They kind of twist in a little bit. So it kind of puts a bend in the rod. I don't like that over time. It's just gonna, it's gonna be shitty over time. So I uh, just quit putting rods in there. I'd rather use them for storage. I don't really want to get retractable straps because I don't really want to cut holes in the boat to put them in. I mean, there might be a system where it's kind of the buckle hides under here. I just don't want that. These are fine. I added this one. I believe I might have added that one. I'm not sure. I added one of these. It didn't have two, that's for sure. I added that one. That's right. This is probably the biggest thing that irritates me. Is let me grab. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Okay. So I just grabbed a rod. It's a it's a seven foot. I'll put it under here, okay? It's no big deal if it's the first one. I'll strap it down. But over here, it ain't long enough up here. It hits, now if I keep, you know, if I stack them up so this one's on the end, it's hitting on this. I don't like that, that bothers me. And then this rail right here, I'll probably get, I can, I'm sure they make something that kind of pops in there, but the eye will get stuck in that. I have yet to rip one off, but I'm going to, I guarantee it. I guarantee one's gonna snap off one of these days and it's really, it's really gonna suck. I don't think there's anything else to go over. Oh, it didn't, this trailer didn't come with a spare tire. It came with a bracket to put a spare tire, but it didn't come with a spare tire, spare wheel. So I have to buy my own spare wheel and my own mount and put it on, which is whatever. I just, uh, it would've been cool if it came with that. The hitch, I like it. This trailer rides nice. Like it, it goes. It, it's. I don't even notice back there. This boat's so damn light. I don't even really notice it's back there. I should be aware that it's back there, so I don't hit a corner too tight. Now I can't really get to the back because I got too much shit back there. But the boat, the little straps for the rear, I took those off and I put retractable straps on there. I had to bend the hook on the trailer, flatten it out a little bit, and then bolt it on. So that's my take on the tracker pro 175 again i'm happy with it i you know eventually i'll probably upgrade to the pro 190 or 195 i forgot what it is with a 150 on it uh, that will be definitely the next boat i get i'm i like trackers they're cheap i like aluminum because i do like to just throw the boat onto the shore and swim is nice uh yeah it's a good boat i would highly recommend getting it for the price i'm really trying to think of something else to say about it okay yeah there is one more thing i'm six foot one and it's it's tight under there like so yeah that's my take on the tracker 
I appreciate people who like the video, take time to watch it. I know they're not the greatest videos, but it's just basically, uh, I don't know, it's just fun filming. I'm not trying to be YouTube famous or anything, but the more likes the better, you know, it'd be pretty cool to make money off this stuff. But I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one. The channel's been up for about three years, but I took a lot of breaks and uh, I just, I don't know, I don't know how to put out good content. Yeah, well, I'm done with this video now, so uh, y'all have a great day.